The music is not in the notes, but in the silence between. I pay no attention whatever to anybody's praise or blame. I simply follow my own feelings. Neither a lofty degree of intelligence nor imagination nor both together, go to the making of genius. Love, 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 that is the soul of genius. When I am completely myself, entirely alone, or during the night when I cannot sleep, it is on such occasions that my ideas flow best and most abundantly. Whence and how these ideas come I know not nor can I force them. To talk well and eloquently is a very great art, but that an equally great one is to know the right moment to stop. A man of ordinary talent will always be ordinary, whether he travels or not. But a man of superior talent will go to pieces if he remains forever in the same place. All I insist on, and nothing else, is that you should show the whole world that you are not afraid. Be silent, if you choose, but when it is necessary, speak and speak in such a way that people will remember it. Our riches, being in our brains, die with us. Unless of course someone chops off our head. In which case, we won't need them anyway. If only the whole world could feel the power of harmony. Silence is very important. The silence between the notes are as important as the notes themselves. Music, in even the most terrible situations, must never offend the ear, but always remain a source of pleasure. I choose such notes that love one another. Music is my life and my life is music. Anyone who does not understand, this is not worthy of God. The best way to learn is through the powerful force of rhythm. Whoever is most impertinent has the best chance. Patience and tranquility of mind contribute more to cure our distempers as the whole art of medicine. Creativity is the firing of my soul. Let us put our trust in God and console ourselves with the thought that all is well. If it is in accordance with the will of the Almighty, as he knows best what is profitable and beneficial to our temporal happiness and our eternal salvation. I too had to work hard, so as not to have to work hard any longer. True perfection in all things is no longer known or prized. You must write music that is either so simple a coachman could sing it, or so unintelligible that audiences like it simply because no sane person could understand it. Love guards the heart from the abyss. Music must never offend the ear, but must please the listener, or in other words, must never cease to be music. I never lie down at night without reflecting that, young as I am, I may not live to see another day. 
If people could see into my heart, I should almost feel ashamed. All there is cold, cold as ice. God is ever before my eyes. I realize his omnipotence and I fear his anger. But I also recognize his compassion, and his tenderness towards his creatures. I am never happier than when I have something to compose, for that, after all, is my sole delight and passion. I am not thoughtless but am prepared for anything, and as a result can wait patiently for whatever the future holds in store, and I'll be able to endure it. The most necessary, most difficult, and principal thing in music, that is time. Directly after God in heaven, comes a papa.